Project date May 15th, subject 114. Splicing experiments have resulted in a floral species we believe can now tolerate an Earth-like mix of oxygen and nitrogen. Dr. Edward Alphonse, a junior biotechnician here at SETI post H21, provided the breakthrough sequence inserted into spores using a viral vector. Previous studies found the moss classified BRC141 develops tubers in the soil. When simply grown from a cutting, however, no roots develop into tubers. From this, the possibility exists that the tubers are a result of fertilization from the environment. Sample 114 validated our assumption after experiments. When sprayed with pollen extracts from other BRC141 samples, the tuber does indeed develop. Hey David, it's Amelia, working late again. You can tell the company no. <laughs> You always did like working through the night. Anyway, I wanted to say happy anniversary. I sent you a card. <laughs> Don't panic. I wasn't expecting you to remember. You're doing very important work out there. I get it. I do. It's just, I've been thinking about her. It'll be six years next month. Her room. I still can't bring myself to change a single thing didn't have to go all that way. We could have talked more. We should have talked more. Can you send a message back? I'm worried, David. I worry. Project date, July 8th. Observations of sample 114 reveals the tuber to be an egg of some kind. From our estimations, the moss supplies it with nutrients. What it's feeding, we are not entirely sure. The embryonic specimen, an invertebrate, uses BRC141 as an initial food source after emerging from beneath the soil. Further tests confirm the specimen will eat smaller insects, indicating an omnivorous diet. Dr Easton, I was rather hoping to speak to you in person, but something came up. The city CSO was interested in your report on BRC141. However, the company's interests go beyond simple taxonomy. We need a product, Doctor. The CSO is keen to hear of any potential uses for this insect of yours. Either find them or quash the bug. We're not a zoo, after all. Project date, February 12th. 114 continues to develop. In six months, it's grown to almost a meter in length. The company wants unfertilized tubers, but I believe this is the real prize. Low in fat, rich in protein, and low maintenance. It will make cattle obsolete. Dr. Alphonse continues to divide his attention between his microbe studies and my project. Funding has been cut. But Alphonse's air purification project was spared the axe. I'm starting to think he was given some of my funding. Hey, David. I saw the headlines. Congratulations. You've done it. You've made history. I guess that means you'll be coming home. I'd like that. We could pick things up, move on. We could try. She's gone, David. But I'm still here. March 17th. About a month ago, the lava began crystallising. It formed a cocoon which, according to the Material Analysis Department, is like some super spider silk. Light, strong, incredibly resilient. The company's going to make a fortune from this material alone. <laughs> I might just get my hands on that grant money after all. The damn thing cracked open yesterday. News just came back. The board are considering my application for more funding. What do I tell them now? The creature inside. It's remarkable. A complete change. It's... She's beautiful. Hello, David. I'm afraid this is going to be the last time we speak. I've been um, working with a colleague at the university... He's been very supportive. He likes me, David. I like him too. I don't even know if you're hearing these messages. David, it's been months. If you are listening, I'm sorry. I love you. But people change. At least they have to try. Dr Easton? Dr Easton, if you're there, pick up. Dr Easton... We've got serious concerns in regards to the emphasis of your research. Dr. Alphonse has made us aware of certain discontinuities of procedure. Questions have been asked about your professionalism. He says your behaviour is increasingly erratic. Your contractual obligation to the corporation remains unchanged. 
This isn't your science project, Doctor. It's ours. Project date, October 21st. Alphonse is becoming unbearable. He insists four is to be examined, but I won't have it. She is not some oddity to be ogled or interfered with. I'll not give her over to the surgeon's table. I will not sit back and watch her butchered. The board has agreed to suspend Dr. Easton. Easton's obsession with the specimen is a drain on our resources. His conduct and his antagonism towards Dr. Alphonse will not be tolerated. Get Easton under control. Four, listen to me. You have to go now. It's no longer safe. You're free. Go, get out. Don't look back. Please, Four, you must leave this place. I can't look after you anymore. I can't keep you safe. You have to live. I need you to live.